Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Lone Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com and today we're going to be discussing power bins and power grades. So let's start with power grades. You're in the color tab in Resolve and you notice that there are certain nodes that you keep on adding to every shot in your project. You repeat these nodes all the time, or at least to a lot of shots. For example, you might add a new node drag it to the end because you want to perform certain operations at the end of uh, the node graph. And in this node, maybe you always want to desaturate shadows. So I'll just go to Luma versus saturation, bring shadows down. And for example, you might want to protect the highlights. So you simply bring the highlights controller down. And for the nodes in the beginning, you might want to always color correct your footage in the first node. So I'll right click on the node and select node label. And I'm just gonna call this node correction. And then I'll add a new node right click node label and this is where i'm going to be stylizing the image for example so let's just call it style look or anything so now we have three nodes one for color correction one for stylizing the image and the last one is to perform protecting the shadows and highlights and now if you want to work on another shot for example i'll move to this shot here note that i do not want to go through the same process again of adding uh, the same nodes to this shot and renaming them again i'm sure that you know that the solution here is to simply go to the shot where you created these nodes right click and select grab still and this is the still added to the gallery it simply saves the nodes so i'll right click here select display node graph and these are the nodes that are saved inside the still let's close and now when i switch to another shot like this one for example i can simply right click on the still and select apply grade and these nodes are now applied to the shot with the same base structure this helps me to start with the same nodes every time however this is not what power bins are power bins helps to solve the problem that this still that you created that uh, contains the nodes is basically uh, uh, locked inside this Resolve project. So it's not available to any of your other Resolve projects. So if you move to a new project, now you need to recreate these um, nodes from scratch or at least export uh, the still from this uh, project to the new project and import it over there. And this is where power bins come in. So now to open the power grades window, I'll simply click here and note that now I'm in stills one. However, I have this other folder here that says power grades. If I click here, this is the power grades window. And this is simply just another folder where we can save stills. So I can save the same nodes to the power grade here by simply right clicking on the project and select grab still. And note that the still was now added to the power grades uh, window because it was active. You can also move stills from one folder to another. For example, if I'm switch back to stills one, this is the initial one I created. I can simply drag it to power grades. And now when I go to power grades, I have these two stills. So these two stills are available to all my other Resolve projects. So let's move to another project. I'll click home here and switch from project A to project B. So double click, save, and now we are in a different project. This is project B. Note that in project B now, if I open the power grade window by clicking here, I have the same exact stills. I can even right click on the still, select display node graph, and these are the same nodes. Let's click close. And I can right click on any of the stills, select apply grade, and the nodes from this still were added to this image. And this will make your work much easier and faster because it will save you time from needing, you know, to recreate the node structure that you use for every single shot. Now, a similar feature exists in the edit tab. Let's switch to the edit tab. I'll click here, and this is the edit tab. To the left, we have the media pool and to the left I have the bins here if they're not open you can always click on this button to hide or show your bins note that we have two types of bins here we have the normal bins and to the bottom we have smart bins but there is a third type of bins if I open the view menu there's an option here to show power bins if I click it, this section appears here. These are the power bins. This is the same exact idea that we saw with uh, stills, but this time with footage or any other media file. So for example, you might have your logo and you don't want to keep on re-importing your logo into every new project you create. The idea here is just simply you save your logo to one of the power bins and it will be available to all your projects without you needing to hunt for the file and find it in your system every time. So for example, I'll click here to open the master bin and maybe I'll drag this file to it. So now this file is in the master bin. And now I'll close this project and switch to project A. Remember, this is project B. I'll 
I'll click here, switch to project A, save. And now in project A, I have power bins to the left. And if I open master, I have the same file available here. And this works the same as any other normal file in any bin. I can drag the clip to the timeline and work with it normally. So as you can see, uh, power bins and power grades are very useful in Resolve and they're very powerful and they can save you a lot of frustration. So if you like this, please visit us at filmsimplify.com where you can join our free DaVinci Resolve crash course that will take you uh, through the basics of every tab in Resolve. And as usual, if you want to learn more about uh, the latest deals on our educational material, you can always visit deals.filmsimplify.com. Thank you. Filmsimplified.com.